Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left, at the end of the corridor. Guess I better take the stairs. Clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? Hey, she thinks I'm a client. Nice looking girl, but too young to be the sort of girl you find holed up in a dive like this. Yeah, she keeps the place pretty ship shape. I've seen whores that didn't give a damn about their living conditions. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. My Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Do you know if they found anything on the wasteland? Any leads or witnesses? No. He said you must have run away and you probably end up coming back. His body was found five days later with an origami figure in his hand and an orchid on his chest.
Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. precious thing I had. The only good thing in my whole fucking life. He was taken away from me for no reason. Go away. Get out of here! She just lost her kid. I can understand how she's feeling. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. Damn asthma. And it's not gonna get any better this freaking weather. That guy just forced his way into Lawrence's place. Sounds like the room's getting rearranged, and not in a good way. What do you want, asshole? Lauren! Is everything alright? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Ugh. Again, asshole. Are you all right? <sighs> Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks.
Zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm really gonna love it here. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'll be many clues left. If there were any to start with. Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. Pretty chilly, huh? When did they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? Nam and Jaden, FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. I've got to find Lieutenant Carter Blake. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. The body is still here. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's, that's not what I meant. Tony! I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to scene with a fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind, we'll find it. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. 
Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Strange character, that Blake. Didn't seem too pleased to see me. Harry Cannon, a sample of no interest. It comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Harry Cannon, traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Harry Cannon, traces of footprints leading toward the body. They don't look like those of the police. No correlation with the body for the moment. Harry Comet, traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Very common. Tire tracks on the side of the boat behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest.
His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Superficial wound on the right thigh. The blood is identical to that on the fence. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. back to the office. You stay in. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. 